What's going on guys? We are back once again and we are going to be reviewing Iron Man 2. Now again, I know Iron Man 2 gets a lot of different love, hate in this film. But again, I personally like this film. There are certain things about this film that I love. There are certain things about this film that I'm not a big fan of. But I like it overall. And I will say that just the overall view of this film is pretty much, you know, Tony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man, being at the height of his power, coming back, being a national icon, you know, revealing who he is and just still being a tech genius, being billions of dollars. But then slowly realizing what's keeping him alive is slowly killing him. And he's trying to find an alternate route to live. And so he tries to give his business slash you know empire to pepper pots then also getting introduced to which i think every guy probably loved i know i did was of course you know scar johansson debuting as black widow and then we had of course you know another crazy villain here which a lot of people did not like either you know mickey Rourke as of course whiplash which again a lot of people did not like that character and we had uh john shelley coming in as uh roadie which you know aka you know war machine and i like this I, I like him honestly a little bit better than terrence howard as war machine i think war machine is a very badass character and then also um being showed that you know black widow was working with shield for a while and then also you know staying to keep an eye on uh Iron Man to be able to say, hey, you know, Fury wants you to join the Avengers. And then, of course, there are certain scenes in this film that I absolutely love, man. I mean, I remember <clears throat> the film, the part where he's having to fight Whiplash in the damn NASCAR scene. That was cool. And then also, you know, Black Widow fighting in the hallway. So I was badass as well. Same thing where we got to see her go up against uh, <laughs> John Favreau, which is absolutely hilarious. And then, um, you know, Tony being Tony about Robert Downey, Robert Downey Jr. just being him, and he just kind of looks at you know Gwyneth Paltrow. He's like, you know, I, I want one, you know, just just again of being how he is. And I absolutely love this film. I think this film is just absolutely funny. A lot of people give it a lot of crap, but overall, it's still a very good film. And again, I like that film. I like how War Machine and Iron Man fighting gets at the very end, taking out all the so-called. Um, ones that you know that whiplash was trying to create to try to take over um iron man's empire same thing with ones just trying to take over iron man because again of what he was building what he was known for what he was doing and i think that's what was really cool about this film was really showing you know the downfall of tony of not only him being tony stark but him being iron man and how much everything was getting to him and how much he was like hey i can't do this anymore i can't do this i can't do that and uh he was accepting his death and that's the reason why he was wanting to give up and it really showed you know even at his lowest he was like hey i can still figure this out i can still do this and, and i like that I, I think this movie does get a lot of crap at the end of the day it's still a good movie so if you guys have not seen iron man 2 definitely give it a try man i have to probably have to go back and watch it at some point and again Iron Man 2 really showed what Marvel was doing right again. Again, not every Marvel movie is going to be perfect. Not every Marvel movie is going to be um, the best or the worst. But again, this movie really did show that Marvel was trying to go in the right direction. And I think that it needs to still do that. I still think that there are things that needs to happen in Marvel that needs to change going forward. But if you go back to movies like this at least you can tell that they were trying that they weren't trying to make a joke out of it like it is now so that's just my overall thoughts of it um i still think robert Downey jr did an amazing job as uh tony stark in this i think uh scar johansson did a magnificent job of course as you know playing as uh black widow and then of course you know john shetty as war machine nick fury you know samuel jackson as nick fury so overall very good cast very good acting a lot of action a lot of adventure a lot of drama a lot of thriller in this um you can watch on disney plus right now a lot of comedy in this again i like this film it's a very good film and that, that's really all I can say about it, guys. But overall, what do you guys think of this film? Is it good? Is it bad? Is your favorite out of the trilogy? Is your least favorite out of the trilogy? Either way, that's fine. But let me know down below in the comments. So also, leave a like on the video. It helps me out. It helps the video out. So if you guys are new to the channel, see about subscribing. And I'll be seeing you guys on the very next one.